everyone. Welcome to Craft Attic K. I'm Carla. And I'm Sam. And we are here for a unboxing video. Um, and we're getting really excited because what happens next week, Sam? I get to graduate. She gets to graduate high school. Yay! Already accepted to college. Got her classes scheduled. She just gets to pay the big whopping mon <laughs> money before the end of July. Um, we're getting ready to go on vacation soon, so... Driver's license. Driver's license. Got our test scheduled, so everybody fingers crossed and say some prayers that we get our driver's license out of the way and done. Right? I to park. <laughs> <laughs> she's still practicing parking. Um, she's using our other daughter's truck, and she is taking her out in the evenings after she gets off of work and doing driving practices, um, so she can get some more consistent time in because with my... Husband and I's work schedule, we're not always here and able to do that. And so we have tasked her with the hard job of ensuring Samantha is ready for her driver's test before my daughter deploys to Egypt. So, yeah. So she's got some crunch. I keep looking at you. That's who I'm looking at. I'm looking at you. Okay. Honestly, I'm looking at all of you in my heart and in my eyes. I'm looking at all of you because I'm so excited. I got, let's be real, I am so excited. I saw recently a Gecko Rouge project, and I thought, what's this Gecko Rouge thing? Awesome. Well, okay. I looked it up online, and I found out that they are a cross-stitch company that is based out of the United Kingdom. And I found a project that I watched Pam's um, Crafty Corner. She just finished it. I didn't get to see her videos when she had started it, but I kind of caught on to her at the end and I saw her final re review of this project that she was stitching for somebody else. And I was immediately drawn to it, so much so that I am claiming this as my no new starts free before the year. And I have been tempted by many projects, but I have not been so tempted as I have with this one and so excited as I have with this one because it is a fully kitted project that came. Um, and I ordered it on, I want to say it was, it was Sunday or Monday. I think it was Monday. I ordered on Monday. Maybe it was Tuesday, actually. I think it was Tuesday. Um, I ordered it Tuesday. This is Thursday, May 27th, when we're videoing. And it came today. From the United Kingdom to the United States into my mailbox by FedEx already. So, I was just super excited. Okay. Faster, um. Uh shipping them all across the <laughs> it's definitely definitely faster shipping um one of the things that uh i liked it so much i you know was perusing their website and they have a they have a layaway option they have a gold um members club members that you can pay for me it worked out to like 14 dollars a month and then every six months you get a voucher for a free um kit of your choice and they also have a program called uh, Gecko Gems. And I've seen a couple of unboxing videos where people have belonged to that. And what it is, is you can purchase, and they're on Gecko number nine this month. Um, it's, if you want to think of it, it's like a hidden surprise. Um, they are pre-released items. You don't know what you're getting. So it's kind of like a mystery, a mystery stitch, um, if you will. And it is almost, from what I could see from other videos, it is drastically reduced from the release once it's released in the price because you don't know what you're getting. So you might be getting a bumblebee, you might be getting a full coverage, you might be getting who knows because it's not been released yet. So you're getting early release items. So um, I thought that was really cool. I did order me the Gecko, Gre Gecko Gem number nine because I just wanted to see. Um, kind of like a present to myself, I guess. So is that um, what this is? No, this okay. is not what this is. Um, I just ordered that today when I was on their site. Okay. And I ordered two other kits as well because of, um, well, I'll tell you when I get them. But I ordered them not for me, but for gifts for other people. But we won't go there because my mouth already talked way too much. So, without further ado, I want to show you. This is how it comes. And we are going to set the camera up so it points down at the table. 
so that you can see me unboxing it and see how everything comes. So give me a minute so we can arrange the camera. So this is the package arrived today. Um, I'm not sure when we'll videotape this. Again, I got my kindergarten scissors so I don't cut any into anything I'm not supposed to. Not intentionally um, anyway. Yeah, at least not intentionally. I'm really excited. Um, I've never purchased a kit before. I wanted to do, I have an earth kit. I haven't been able to make that happen yet, but. Um, oh wait, hold on, never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> Samantha's rearranging me, Sorry. it's throwing me off. Um, so this is my first unboxing, so I'm really excited. So take out this, make sure there's nothing else in there. Nope, okay. So it comes in this pretty wrapping, nice and striped. It kind of reminds me of a carnival, to be honest with you. Mm. And it says Gecko Rouge, handmade for you. And it's got a little gecko on a piece of um, floss. You can see that. Let me see, there you go. It's a little gecko charm. Might have to use that in something. All right, so I was hoping not to. You never know when I might put that sticker into something, <laughs> into my projects or somewhere. So. We don't want to lose that. And then I'm going to empty it out. Uh, what is it? Oh, let's go this way. Oh, oh look at that. Gecko Rouge. Um, I ordered a um, thread count, 25 count. It's got DMC floss. They send you enough for two over one. From what I understand from watching videos, the two over one is um, if you're going to do tent stitch and use two strands of floss to do the tent stitch. I'm not a tent stitcher, so I'm gonna be doing one over one. Um, full cross on the 25 count. Um, well, let's open this package first. Let's see what's in here. So they also have needle minders, and I asked for a needle minder. This is the middle sized one. I wasn't sure which size to go with. This is the middle sized needle minder, and Boom, that's what she's gonna be. There's the needle minder. Um, the back has like a, that's kind of different. There's, it's, There's oh, like sorry. a bump in there, you can't really see. Yeah, it. it's kind of inset, but then there's a magnet here inside of this that goes onto it. It's, you know, it's pretty good actually. It's not the strongest magnet, but it'll hold something. And I think she looks really cool. Look at her. She's oh, reading. Nice. Look at look at look at her. <laughs> there you go. Samantha's helping me out. See, there you wow. go. I like that. So, anyway. Anyways. Little sneak peek. Okay, little sneak peek, and it has this little purple bag. Okay, Samantha, I'll let you put that back in the bag. <laughs> okay, so then now that you know what it is, this is a full kit it should be so let's flip it over this Ooh. is gonna be what I am stitching it is called folk witch um, I watched when I saw um, Pam's crafty corner she was down here on the boot and I really liked the colors and then when she unveiled it as a as her finish I was like oh I have to stitch that I have to stitch that. I think it was the colors that did me in. It's got a cat sitting here licking its leg, the candles, the coffee cup, you know, with the witch's hat and all the herbs and flowers. And she's got the book Luna. And, you know, there's just so much things happening. And this artist um, is, uh, Medusa. yeah, Medusa Dollmaker is her name. It's up here, Medusa Dollmaker. She has Gamer and a couple of other ones that I like and Samantha likes too. So that will be on my upcoming order. I'm sure. I definitely, my wish list has grown. Um, it tells you there is 84 DMC colors here. It is 334 stitches by 484 stitches. So it's not a little one. Um, on 25 count, it'll measure 13.36 by 19.36 inches. If you're an Ada person, they have 14 count and 18 count sizes as well. Um, but yeah, modern art cross stitch kit. This also comes with, um, I guess I turned that the wrong way. 
it has a binder here like a like a folder binder and this is your pattern how to do the pattern maybe i'll learn how to do tent stitch since i don't know how to do tent stitch and then it comes with one of the things that they do is they don't tell you the dmc numbers but they do give you numbers and they use all these different symbols um so it's got a list of all of your colors and their symbols that you're going to find on your pattern and I'm not going to show you the pattern, but the rest of these pages are the patterns. So, and they this one also had an electronic version, PDF version. So I also got the PDF version as a backup, and I've already loaded that into my Pattern Keeper, and it works fine in Pattern Keeper. So I was excited about that. I did have to take an extra little step by emailing it to myself so I could get it into my Dropbox to put it in my Pattern Keeper, if that makes sense. Um, it is a complicated process, but so there is that, which I think is awesome. Um, here is my 25 count fabric. I will use my, I have a serger, so I will use the serger, but you can see it's pre-gridded fabric. And you can't see all of it, but you, it's there. <laughs> it's all, yeah, you can't see it all, but here I can fold it in half and you can get an idea. I think that's just the half of it so it's tall it's not going to be super huge i'm really excited um so there's the fabric for it and then the floss gosh let's talk floss okay so move that over here here is the floss for this it comes it also tells you on here all the different specifics about it and on the inside is john james needles can you see? Oh, there we go. John James needle is taped to the inside, so you do get a needle with it, and it's handmade for you. And again, all of your flosses go across here, and it correlates with the floss charts, and it correlates with what's in Pattern Keeper. In the bottom, they're looped, so I will have to go through and probably cut the loops, but I'll probably leave them at that length. Um, there has been in other videos they talk about this is not real sturdy, the cards themselves, but it feels like it's a good st card stock. Um, maybe if you're doing a lot of uses with it, you might have problems, but um, Depends on I might put it on my Annie's Keepers or I might just transfer it over into Thread Drops and put each tape them to the symbols with them. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. I might use my... Um, wooden pieces that I got to make sure my flosses are all the same length because it looks like yeah it doesn't look to me like they are um um evenly looped. they're they're just no they're evenly looped but I want to make sure um anyway I don't know what I'm saying I lost. <laughs> but look at that look at that red isn't that red pretty so as I'm sitting here petting through all these colors, I just love the muted colors. I think this is really gonna be a fun stitch. I'm looking forward to it. Um, these are the last of them, must be a lot of those. And then they give you, these are the extra colors. So um, there's a lot of this around the outside edges of the outside of the, the girl. Um, so, and I'm sure this is like hairs and things and, but, It'll tell you, like, this is your number. They put little numbers that way so that you know which one it is, and they're extra for your pack. So, I don't know. I might just go through and just cut across the end and just pull them off, like, one thread at a time. How I use my Annie Keepers, I might transfer it over onto Annie Keepers. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. If I start pulling them and I see that it is ripping or that these become cumbersome because of flipping through them, then I'll just put them on in my Annie's Keepers and be done with it. But I may start out with this because I'm really excited um, to get this going and get it started. So. Um, so there you have it. I think that's everything. I just thought that I would pop on here and show you um, what all came in your things. kit. All the cool things. All the neat and wonderful things. Here's your picture. Um, Gecko Rouge, I am going to use her, actually do some of my stitch alongs with. I know me, I'm not going to be able to do, um, I will try and get on um, do, to do more stitch alongs and, and have you join me in the process. And we'll see. We might be still stitching this in a year, but we're going to have fun doing it.
and let's see just because some of you that follow me know that I do full coverages I'm just curious how many pages this is and I don't think I, it says really no I don't know how many pages it is the pages aren't numbered so that I can see but there is a diagram in the bottom I just can't see it um I can't see it completely but there is a diagram in the bottom that shows where that page is in relation to everything so any anything else Samantha no not for me <clears throat> we are going to be going <coughs> like I said we're going to be going on vacation soon if I haven't said it in this video I've said it in others and Samantha graduates next Friday so we're really excited about that um, we will be having an upcoming May update video, so keep your eyes open for that as well. We're going to try and get it done over this holiday weekend. It is going to be um, a challenge to do that, so we may have to wait until after graduation to get that done. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to try and get it done before June 1st. If not, it will be after graduation happens. So, yeah. busy times here. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching, and if you like what you see, let me know. Maybe I'll try and do some more unboxing videos as other um, Gecko Rouge projects come in um, and share with the rest of you. So, And maybe you can join me. If you are doing this and you're, you have a sal um, or a hashtag, you know, let me know so I can figure out how to join in. And I think that's it. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. God bless. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>